well, uh, TikTok uh, made so you can't uh, make uh, recorded videos uh, posted, or at least maybe you need to pay for that. I am not gonna do that. Uh, I am giving you a very good recipe of uh, chicken Kiev. Uh, it's uh, a chicken breast that uh, you take, you put, you mix uh, butter with garlic and uh, parsley. Uh, you can uh, put like other kind of uh, uh, oregano or whatever, you can do that. Uh, so uh, basically that is uh, how you make the butter. Uh, you mix that uh, and then make kind of like a little sausage because you have to put it inside the breast of the chicken. Uh, so when you make the butter, uh, you put it in the freezer or refrigerator. I put it in the freezer because I try to make it fast, and, you know. Uh, so uh, then, very important, uh, how uh, you do your breadcrumb, uh, breadcrumbs. Uh, you have to have big ones because uh, if uh, it's just uh, small ones, you're not gonna get this crunchy feeling. Uh, also very important that you uh, take uh, flour first. So you, you take uh, your chicken breast, you cut it in half in the middle, you put frozen butter inside, uh, then, very important, you take flour, you dip the whole thing over there, uh, then uh, it's enough with one egg that you whisked, and uh, you uh, also dip it in this uh, egg mix, which is just an egg. Uh, and uh, then you uh, roll it in uh, this big breadcrumbs. Make sure that uh, there are no holes, because otherwise the butter inside is gonna just uh, leak out. Uh, it took me uh, two or three tries to make it perfect. Uh, another tip, so first tip is the flour. Uh, when they say you do it without it, no, uh, I tried, it doesn't work. Uh, also, another tip, uh, is that uh, they say just fry it and it's gonna be okay. The meat will be raw if the breast is too big. So what you basically do, you uh, take a very hot uh, pan, steak pan, I don't know how it's called in English, uh, well, where, where you fry it. Uh, so you put olive oil, put it on the max, let it be really hot. And then you put your chicken, that is already mixed with, uh, you'll have butter inside, you have your crumbs over the chicken, form it so uh, it, nothing leaks out. One or two minutes, depending on the heat of the oven, uh, you fry it on one side and then turn it, fry it on another. That closes the uh, meat. And that's how you also fry steak. If you want a perfect steak, you just fry it one, two minutes on each side, then uh, depending how raw you want it, you get you know, what you want. Uh, after that, uh, you put uh, your oven on uh, 175 degrees around the desk, and you put your chicken breasts, chicken kiev, cutlets or whatever, or you can call it burger, uh, in the oven. Uh, make sure that is, uh, the chicken should be well done, because uh, otherwise, you know, you can get sick. Same with pork. Uh, if you take uh, you know, uh, beef or, for example, uh, lamb, that doesn't matter. Even if it's bloody, you're not gonna get some manila or other kind of stuff. So, that is my tip to you. Uh, also, uh, for uh, veggies, uh, you can take whatever. I do uh, vegetables in the oven. I put uh, 250 degrees because I like it crunchy. A little olive oil, some garlic, some pepper, you can put whatever. Uh, Carrots, uh, red beets, potatoes, mix everything. Uh, this time I have zucchini and uh, red onion that you put in the end because otherwise they will be burned. So about five, uh, ten minutes. Uh, you put the temperature down to 150 degrees and let zucchini be there uh, and uh, onion also. Uh, and in the end, in the end, in the end have uh, your fresh, uh, it can be perukla, it can be uh, whatever kind of salad mix. Well, I like uh, different kind of salad you can put. Uh, so you just take out the dish and put the press and mix it. And then uh, 
it becomes fun. So, uh, if you have a huge, um, you know, bag with rukara or well, this time it was spinach, which is really, really good because of all the fire and everything. So you take the cut skin, fresh, and just put it and mix it. So that's how you get your veggies. And really good, tasty. So I hope that that uh, helps and uh, you can make your own food. If I'm not a baby, if you have a baby, you can cook And now I love to cook because I discovered that this whole fresh is really, 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 really simple. Awesome and not very expensive. So I have just been a very, 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 not prepared, but perfectly prepared. So this is the best way to do it. I wish you luck. Chicken here is a cuisine. I wish you luck. I love it. It's not a good one. Then you will be in the right to just soak it in. Make it clear at first, make it wet. Then you put it in the flour. Then you mix it in the egg. And you can put it, should put the butter in the inside. So I'm going to go for it, and then put it in the top of the house. Fry it, then put it in minutes, put it in the heat, 20-30 minutes in the oven, put it in the heat in the oven, and it's very simple. See you.